What's up guys, Sticky Buns here, and welcome to Napoleon Total War. Now today, we have a pretty epic battle going on, so it's two versus two battle. Um, over here we have the Prussian Alliance, so two Prussian armies on this side of the valley, and then over on this side of the valley we have uh, Great Britain and the United Netherlands. <laughs> so a few quick things it, it, before we start the battle. Um, I've been figuring out, if you guys are wondering why I haven't been recording some videos lately, um, it's because I've been figuring out some recording software, which, um, so, yeah, I think I've got it pretty much figured out, so, a lot of cool videos will be coming soon, so make sure to subscribe and like, and, uh, turn on the notifications if you want to, so that it'll notify you when a new video is uploaded, because I don't upload videos too often, but, um, when I do, the videos are pretty good, so, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, guys, so... Let's start off with these army comps. So let's start off with my army. I'm commanding this Prussian army over here. And if you're wanting, Prussia has the white flag with the little black hawk or eagle in the middle of it. And then you probably know Great Britain's flag. And United Netherlands is uh, orange, white, and blue. So, And I have the game paused because this battle starts like immediately. So, And for this battle, I'll put the army comps up on screen. <laughs> so if you guys want to pause the video and read through them real quick, but I'll go over them quick right now. So we'll start with my army. Um, I'm commanding Prussia. So for my line infantry, I have uh, two units of foot guards, I believe. So the foot guards are like my elite infantry. I have one of them guarding the artillery over here, which is where I started the video, and it looks pretty epic. Um, I also have some land wear, which are like some lighter infantry. They're um, not very well disciplined, but they're still pretty good. Um, for my skirmishers, I have, uh, I think, three units of Jaegers. And then over here, I also have uh, three units of Musketeers, which are in column formation because uh, the troops march faster in column formation. Um, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. But then for my cavalry, I have two units of Dragoons. And then I'm bringing the 12-pounder uh, foot artillery for my artillery. Where's my general? And my general over here is on horseback. My general is Gerhard von Skarnhorst, I think. <laughs> Gerhard von Skarnhorst. Okay, so let's move on to my Prussian ally, who is already sending his cav over to go through the valley to attack United Netherlands. So he has, uh, I have them all written down right here, so I'll just, so he has um, some lancers and dragoons for his cavalry. Um, he, oh, I also have some grenadiers in my army. He has the, um, one unit of the 8th Life Regiment. He has the, First East, East Prussian Grenadier Battalion. He has a few units of musketeers, and then some land wear, and he also has some Jaegers, so similar to my army. And then his general is back here in the trees, and his general is Count von Niesnau, I think. I think's how you pronounce that. Alright, so now, let's move on to our first enemy, Great Britain. So, for his skirmishing force, he has some rifles, he has a few units of rifles, they're good skirmishing force to go and uh, pick off the enemy. Um, he has some fencibles, which are some lighter infantry. Um, he has some the 10th Hussars and the yeah 10th Hussars over here for his cav. He has some foot guards, which are pretty elite infantry. You probably know them throughout the battle with their because they have their red coats, the white on them. He has some Highland foot, which look pretty awesome. Not sure what's going on. Oh, flag's kind of acting weird, but whatever. And then he has some Highland Foot, King German Legion Foot, so some more elite infantry, but it's pretty much all for him. He also has, he's bringing a, uh, what artillery? He's bringing in a nine-pounder foot artillery, I think, somewhere. And then he also has the 15th Tessars over there, and his general is Sir John Moore. Alright, so let's move on to the last army, which is the United Netherlands. Um, they have a smaller army. For their cab, they have uh, a few units of hussars. Um, they have a lot of militiamen, which is some lighter infantry. Um, they also have like a few units of line infantry. They have more line infantry. Their general is David Hendrik Chasse, I think. And then they have more line infantry. And they also have some Dutch flankers and more hussars. Their Dutch flankers are more uh, more elite. So this map guys, like the strategy you want to do with this map, it's really hard to get your troops to go through this valley. 
So the smart thing to do is to, what I'm going to do probably, is move my troops up here to take the hill. Because once you take the hill, you can flank around and attack from here. So there's usually battles up here. And usually what the army that starts on the bottom needs to do is come through and uh, attack from this bottom area. Um, and another quick thing, guys, sometimes the battles in Napoleon Total War can get a little confusing with a bunch of troops everywhere and can get a little crazy with tons of troops. So the map is up here, if you can see where my mouse is. And the blue, the blue squares and triangles and stuff are... Um, me and my allies, troops, and then the red is uh, Great Britain and United Netherlands, our enemies. So if you, yeah, so when the squares are filled in, like completely blue, then it means that they're fine, marching, just whatever, they're fine. But if the squares are flashing, then that means they're under fire. And if they're uh, white in the center, that means the troops are routing or running away because they're scared and they're running off the battlefield. Um, but I think that's all I need to cover. Alright guys, so this battle starts off pretty quick, so let's click play and see what happens. So my Prussian ally is moving pretty fast. He's moving all of his Lancers down here to counter uh, United Netherlands. Right now I'm firing my artillery over at Great Britain. So let's he hear the artillery fire. Let's see a volley from the artillery. There they go, loading it up. So right now what we're pretty much doing, if you, you guys can look at the map and see, but... We're pretty much just getting all, our, all of our troops in position. Um, let's watch these cannons fire. It'll be pretty epic. All right, the cannons are loaded. Fire! Oh, yeah. Take them out. They're returning fire with their... Uh, with their. So here goes my ally. He's actually charging up a ton of his troops up here. It's kind of hard to see because they're in the tall grass and stuff. But here they go, running through. They're getting bombarded by the British artillery right now. Alright, it looks like they're going to hold here. The United Netherlands is also moving up over here. Great Britain's sending over some cav, it looks like. Yeah, United Netherlands is going over here. They're sending up their cav pretty quick. And then way up here, I've sent my two units of dragoons up here to kind of watch this flank. Because I noticed that Great Britain is moving up his 10th hussars up here. So I've got my... Uh, more artillery coming in, so I've got my cav up there kind of watching them. Right now, I'm kind of just getting in position, and uh, my artillery's just bombarding them. I held my artillery fire right here because my ally was moving troops across. Oh, here comes here comes Great Britain's 10th Hussars. The 10th Hussars are charging in. They get off some pop shots right there. I have my uh, foot guards right here holding them back. Returning fire. Here they come charging in. So what I'm going to do is I, uh, is I, um, uh, I think I form square. It looks like the game froze. One second, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, guys. Sometimes Napoleon War, Napoleon Total War battles can be kind of glitchy and they freeze quite a bit. So what I'm doing right here, okay, let's click play. And this will go kind of fast, but the cab charges in. I form square, and now there's a huge fight. So let's watch my... <laughs> this cab, their morale is going down really fast. They're getting destroyed by my the Prussian foot guards. The tenth of SARS, they stood no chance. I've also got my land, my musketeers over here. Then over here, I've got my uh, my uh, what are these? More musketeers firing down. It looks like it froze again, but we'll actually take advantage of this, and it, we'll have time to go over here. It's pretty much what happened over here. Great Britain charged in their uh, 15th Hussars over here, but uh, my Prussian ally had his uh, landwehr over here ready to uh, defend against them. It's going to unfreeze. Dang it. Napoleon Total War battles are sometimes glitchy, especially replays. So what we're going to do... Oh, it's back. It's back. Okay. So my troops are fighting off these guys. Fighting off this cav. I'm pushing forward because now he's moving up his infantry. He's moving up some fencibles. So we're quick, quickly evaporating the last of his cab over here, his 10th of SARS. And then I'm moving up all my, uh, I'm moving up my musketeers to turn and face his, face his fencibles. Oh, I know why it's freezing. It's freezing because uh, I would pause a few times during the battle. Yeah, his cab is pretty much done for. 
let's see, they're down to nine, nine dudes. You can see that they're like evaporated really fast. So here come his British fencibles. These guys are lighter infantry, so they're not going to stand much of a chance. And as you can see, they're not very disciplined. They're kind of standing in weird lines. Here they go. I think they're going to fire soon. I've got my infantry all lined up. I've got my land wear. Come on, guys. Fire back. Fire back. Here they go. I think they're going to fire back. But anyways, my guys are shooting back at theirs. So I've got a good formation here. We should break them pretty quick. These guys don't even stand a chance against us. Yeah, you can see. And now they're going in for a bayonet charge, it looks like. Yeah, they're getting shot down. Oh, they're just getting closer. Are they going to shoot again? Yep, they're going to stand their ground here, it looks like. But, yep, they broke. They're running off the field. So let's go down to where my ally is. And my ally is actually going into the valley, which is going to be kind of hard because we can't see things very well down here because of all the tall grass. But Grey Britain's got his uh, rifles over here. Ooh. And here goes my allies, uh, Eighth Life Regiment, firing through the trees at the at Great Britain's rifles. Um, United Netherlands is also moving up over here, and they're actually doing a far flank because you can see where their units are as because their flags are above the unit. Set back over here, the Eighth Life Regiment. It looks like the, some hussars are coming in here. Wow. Yeah, the United Netherlands Hussars are going to get evaporated pretty fast in here. And sorry guys, it's going to be laggy at this first part just a little bit. Because, oh yeah, they're just pouring in. But it's going to be laggy at this first part just a little bit. Because, um, you know, there's just so many troops on the screen. We've got a cav engagement over here. We've got the Prussian Lancers versus the 15th Hussars. Apparently they returned. So you can kind of see them fighting here in the tall grass with their big lances. So yeah, again guys, if you ever get confused, just look up here at the map. Ooh, get wrecked, bro. Yeah, I think that mm, that's a pretty even battle. Now we have a huge bayonet fight over here. So it looks like everybody is charged in with their bayonets. You know, time to get the bayonets bloody, it looks like. Like, the United Netherlands pretty much charged in all of their troops. And this is the really laggy part. So this is a really good spot for these Prussian musketeers right here. Because meanwhile, where they're having that huge bayonet fight over there, these guys are just shooting into the sides of, those, uh, of all the Dutch and uh, British troops over there. So these guys have a pretty good angle. I mean, there's some trees in the way. Oh, it looks like now they're charging in. Let's watch these guys charge in. Oh, yeah. Look, they're going to fire again. Okay, really quick, let's go over here. So over here, you know those dragoons I had up there? So the British... They left their artillery exposed right over here. They left their 9-pounder foot artillery exposed. So basically I chased down these fencibles, and my dragoons over here are now going to charge down and take out his artillery, which is exposed right down here. I'm afraid he's going to turn his cannons and fire at me. So far he hasn't, but... So these musketeers are charging in. Maybe. Sometimes the your allies in this game can be really indecisive, so. But we've got, whoa. Don't want to go that way. Camera's going crazy. So we've got a huge bayonet fight. I don't want to zoom in on this. Um, you can see from all the smoke and stuff that it's a pretty huge battle. 
But I bet if I zoom in on this, it would probably crash the game. You can see the artillery exploding. But it looks like the Netherlands and Great Britain kind of has the edge. He sent in his Highland foot and his King German Legion. You can see their flags. All of them fighting it out with bayonets. It's kind of hard to see because of the, the trees. But my Prussian ally... Oh, these are... So what I decide to do to go help my allies, I send over some Jaegers. I send over some skirmishing Jaegers kind of to uh, get some pop shots in and try and assist my ally. And then I also have my Grenadiers over here. And Grenadiers are super, super good in melee. Like, when they get in a bayonet fight, they can hold for a long time. And you'll, be, you'll see that in just a minute. Like, this Grenadier unit right here probably saved us the battle. Like, this Grenadier unit is very important in just a minute. Oh, we missed the charge over here. So over here, I uh, charged my Dragoons into his artillery and took it out pretty quickly. He wasn't really paying attention, so I was able to take it out. Yeah, his artillery's done. It looks like the game froze, but that's okay. So we have some breaking from the Prussian lines over here. Some of these Prussian troops, the land wear. So the lighter infantry is breaking from the battle, it looks like. But so my grenadiers are ready over here. I'm kind of holding all my troops in reserve. I'm moving them over. I'm, I'm, right now, my 12-pounder foot artillery is focusing down on that huge blob of troops over there. And I've got it on the barrage, so that it'll boom, boom, boom. Still got these guys over here holding the flank. And eventually, I'm going to move over my foot guards and some musketeers over here to uh, hold this ground over here. Okay, looks like it's unfroze. So my ally has his general... Count von Nice now, right over here. So musketeers are breaking. I'm moving up my Jaegers. So right here we kill their general in this huge brawl. We uh, we kill the. Uh, let's see where it was. Yep, it was in this big battle. I think it was the Prussian or the British general that we killed. But the Prussian lines are crumbling over here. So what I'm doing. I've now got my Dragoons moving over, getting ready to charge into the backs of these uh, troops over here, this big blob. There goes my artillery firing into this big blob. Um, what's this that's breaking the land where? So my Grenadiers are over here in reserve. Looks like my ally has his 7-pounder howitzer over here. I know... Yeah, his howitzer is right over here. Um, over here, I moved over my Jaegers to get a better angle over the enemy. So now they're firing shots into the uh, enemy lines. So right now, there's that huge brawl. Let's go back over here. My Dragoons are getting ready to charge into the... Uh, What's over here? I think the Dutch... Yeah, the Dutch has their 7-pounder howitzer over here. So this is a losing fight for us Prussians. Us Prussians are losing this fight. Got my Grenadiers ready over here. So now my Jaegers are under fire. Let's see, I think my Dragoons are charging in. Yep. So we take out the United Netherlands artillery right here with my Dragoons, which was good, because howitzers, pretty much what a howitzer is, is it shoots this shell way up high into the air, and then it plunges down and does that big firework explosion on the enemy. So this big bayonet fight has kind of ended. My ally has his artillery over here. I've got my Jaegers holding over here. But these skirmishers, you can barely see them in the tall grass, but they're not going to hold for very much longer. 
because the Brit the British is moving up all their uh, heavy in heavy infantry and all their elite infantry and stuff so fire back guys you can barely see them through the tree lines over there these grenadiers are going to be fighting soon so meanwhile over here I have my artillery it looks like we've been fired back at over here so over here I have my artillery that's just shelling the enemy shooting through these spikes those stakes my 12 pounder foot artillery which has pretty pretty good range and it's guarded by my foot guards my elite infantry and it's just shelling the enemy right now so now things are not looking good for these guys you can barely see the netherland troops through the through the tall grass so troops just shoot through the grass and you'll hit someone in this big blob So now my allies' artillery is under attack. Now my grenadiers are firing. This is the main part of the battle that I want you guys to see. Is these grenadiers right here. The Prussian grenadiers. So there goes my allies' general. My allies' general dies right there. What the heck, guys? Get back in formation. Yeah, my allies' general dies right there. Count Von Nice now dies. So I'm, I'm kiting the enemy with my Jaegers over here. I'm kind of like slowly having them fall back. And then you get some pop shots. So here's where the Grenadier stuff starts to happen. So I think... So Grenadiers can throw grenades, you know. So I get back in formation. We have some breaking, and breaking from those Jaegers that we're holding. So here my guys go, I think they're moving up to get in, more in range, get closer, fire into this, like the United Netherlands and Great Britain, I mean, they double, they double teamed my Prussian ally, but grouping up like that and letting these grenadiers just pick them off, and also letting my, my artillery just lay into them was not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. So the British are forming up their lines in the United Netherlands. They're all forming up over here, getting ready to charge in. They're going to charge up this hill at my Grenadiers. Here comes the Highland Foot with the King German Legion. Here they go, charging up. Yep, here, all, here they all come, charging up. But... Grenadiers can throw grenades. So, I'm going to have these guys throw a volley of grenades into, the, into them in just a sec. So they're forming up, getting ready to charge in. Because since they're at the bottom of the hill, they're not in a good position to fire back at these guys. I mean, they're getting a few pop shots. Like you saw that guy die right there. They're getting a few pop shots here and there, but they're not really getting any... Uh, getting any uh because they're behind the hill they're not getting any good shots so i fall back my grenadiers just a little bit to get them behind these rocks so that they're more protected nothing much going on everywhere else the netherlands are moving up a little bit i've got my uh jaegers holding them back so here i go i'm moving up getting ready to use my grenades because uh, pretty much what i'm doing right here is i'm just waiting I'm waiting until the Netherlands and Great Britain are going to charge into my Grenadiers, and then I'm just going to lob a whole bunch of grenades in their faces. Grenades to the face. <clears throat> here they come. You can see them over here. They're kind of being indecisive right now, deciding if they should get in a position to battle, to line battle me, or if they should, uh, or if they should uh, charge in with bayonets. But it looks, see, you can see them now right over there. It looks like they're going to move into a line.
Here goes my grenadiers firing back. Okay, here comes the grenades, I think. So now my grenade now my grenadiers are under heavy fire. You can see them falling left and right. And another guy taking the fallen do the dead guy's positions. Keeping the line. Holding the line, keeping it firm and steady. I mean these guys are getting ready for a bayonet charge. And I'm just picking them off. Okay, here they come, bayonet charge. I think I throw my grenades about now. Throw your grenades. Throw grenades at their faces. They're right there. The, du the, line the Dutch line infantry, or the Netherlands line infantry. Okay, I need to throw my grenades now. Oh, there go the grenades. Ooh. You can see the grenades exploding. Wrecked. Get wrecked. You can see the smoke from the grenade gren grenades just blowing these guys to pieces. Wow. I, those just blew those guys to pieces. So now we got a nice little fight right here. The grenade's still going in. I decided to charge in. Well, did I charge in? Yep, I charged in my grenadiers right here. But look at... So look. Right here, I have this one unit of Prussian Grenadiers holding back, let's see, uh, three units, two units of King German Legion, two units of Highland Foot, some Dutch Flankers, some Dutch Line Infantry, uh, some Rifles, some high, more Highland Foot, more King's German Legion. So I have this one unit of Prussian Grenadiers holding back like the whole British Army. And thank goodness to this unit... Because meanwhile, while these guys were holding them back, over here, I'm able to uh, move all my other troops into this big line. Because I know those Prussian Grenadiers won't be able to hold forever. I've got my Jaegers still firing. They're hiding in the tall grass over here, firing down at the Netherland troops. And just breaking their morale. So meanwhile, while my Grenadiers are holding them, I'm forming this line. Because look, these Grenadiers are still holding. I mean, they lost quite a bit back here. But they are still holding. I mean, just look at this big stream of Redcoats and Dutch. Look at all these Redcoats. Sorry, it's pretty laggy over here. But meanwhile, I mean, these Grenadiers still, they only have 40, they only have 40 guys left. But they're still holding really well. This is a huge fight. Like, you guys can see it goes way back into the tree line, way in there. There's still smoke from the gunshots and uh, grenades. Now, oh, and I was going to mention, too, don't pay attention to this... Uh, ooh, get wrecked, buddy. Don't pay attention to this balance of power, because it's not very accurate in the Pulling Tool War. Oh, yeah, smack in the face. See, now they're down to 38. They've only lost two guys. Let's see. And look, they mor their morale is still in the green. So now the Netherlands is having to send over all of their reserves. The Nether... Oh, the Great Britain... So it's the Netherlands general that died. So the only generals left on the battlefield right now are Sir John Moore, Great Britain's general, and my general... Uh, what's his name? Gerhard von Scarnhorst. Into the breach, man. So my Grenadiers are still holding. Their morale has gone down a little bit. But, I mean, they're doing super well. Look, they're even routing some of these, uh... Well, not routing. I mean, they're still fighting. No, he died. Oh, now the British are pouring in. Let's see how many Grenadiers are left. 32. 32 are still left. Wow, that's crazy. Don't mess with the Prussian Grenadiers, pretty much. Like, pretty much don't mess with any Grenadiers, because Grenadiers can hold their ground. Grenadiers are like the most... Oh, somebody fired a gunshot at point-blank range. That's nasty. Maybe it was the officer firing his pistol. Look, even the drummer is fighting. <laughs> you see the drummer guy right there? Oh, there's the officer right by the drummer guy. The drummer dude pulling out his sword, so... Now the British is breaking through. My Grenadiers, they fought bravely. They will be remembered. They're down to 18. It looked like the game froze, but it's actually kind of cool to see this battle when it's frozen. 
get some pretty cinematic shots. Like with this map, I can make the map bigger, but then it covers up too much of the screen. So I usually like to have it at this medium size, and then I can make it completely uh, disappear too. But I'll, I'll, I usually only make the map uh, go away like this when I'm taking like the screen, the video thumbnail shots and uh, cinematic shots and stuff like that. But these Prussian grenadiers, man, they held. They did their job. But they're breaking now. You can see all of them lying dead around this tree. And the British are breaking through. Oh, look at these guys dueling. That looks epic. See these two dudes right here? They both have mustaches. But they did their du they did their duty. <laughs> so now the British is going to push through. And we're going to have one final last line battle. The British are going to form up over here. I'm going to form up my line. And then we'll boom, 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 boom. Rip each other apart and see who comes. Once all the smoke clears, we'll see who be, was victorious. So I'm going to skip ahead to when this uh, unfreezes. All right, guys, we are back. The Prussian Grenadiers, they finally break. There's only this small pocket of 12. But, I mean, look at, you can see from these flags, like, how much they're hold, how many troops they're holding back. Let's go to normal speed. So now the British are moving up, cleaning up the rest of these Grenadiers. You can see they're just pushing them down, taking them out with their pointy bayonets. So here comes all the British. Let's actually watch this in slow motion. It's, it looks really awesome. Oh yeah. There go the Redcoats, moving up, getting into battle positions. So anyways, this huge mass of British troops is going to be facing off against so here's my line. I'll quickly show you what's in my line. So I have some land wear holding the flank. And then for my main line, I have musketeers. More musketeers with waving the Prussian flag proudly, especially after that grenadier. Especially after those grenadiers. And then I have my uh, more land wear over here. So here they come. I'm moving over my dragoons. Uh, I have my elite foot guards back here. Over here, my. Jaegers are still putting pressure on these fencibles, which is freaking crazy. I mean, you can see all the all the death over here of all the dudes that were shot. So now I'm firing. Here comes the final last stand. So I've got my dragoons over here, and I think I dismount my dragoons in a minute. Yep, here goes my dragoons. They're dismounting. This is actually a good angle. You can see them firing back and forth. So the British are actually targeting my Dragoons, which is good. So here goes my Dragoons. Taking them out. Artillery coming in. Where is my artillery? I don't know. So now I, I decide that this flank is not an issue. So now I'm moving over my Jaegers up in front of these guys to kneel down and uh, get some shots off. These guys should have waited and made a line and then formed up. Because now, like, now this is, this is a massive kill zone. I mean, you can see this. This is such a massive kill zone right here. Like, you can see the bullets flying, my artillery flying in. Oh, my artillery is way back here. See, we're just, as soon as a unit gets in this kill zone, we just, like, break them immediately. So all my guys are reloading, getting their muskets ready for another volley. They fought well today. But will they come out victorious? We are yet to find out. Here's the drummer guy and the officer and the flag bearer. So a unit used up all of its ammunition, that's no big deal. Now they're sniping out our Dragoons, which is not good. I think I remount over here with my Dragoons. I mount them back up and then I think I charge in. Because right now they're dismounted. So all that's left is this unit of rifles from Great Britain. Um, some Highland Foot, a few rifles, some Highland Foot. 
and the British general. And I have my rifles over here. Which is you they've used up all their ammunition, I think, so. Looks like the game froze again. And then my artillery, meanwhile, is back here shelling the British with their massive shells. <laughs> And then back here I've got my general watching over the battle. And I've got my elite in, my elite foot guards in reserve just in case. So now I've got my I've got my Jaegers sniping them out. Right, look where it froze. Boom, that looks epic. Right as he's firing. So we are coming to the close of this battle. Um, yeah, I mounted back up these Dragoons. Yep, so I mounted back up these Dragoons because the British rifles were just sniping them. So here I go. Dragoons charging into the rifles. Ooh, get wrecked. They go flying. So the British pretty much broke immediately. That poor guy. So he's got his Highland foot back there. But we pretty much evaporated those guys with our cal with our cavalry, with our dragoons. So now here comes the rest of the British troops walking over their dead comrades. Meanwhile, they're getting shelled by my artillery. I fall back my... Uh, Dragoons, because what I'm doing right now is I want the British to move into this kill zone right here. I want the British to move up into this kill zone right here so I can just boom, 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 and take them all out. So the British are moving up. They're getting ready to make their last stand. King German Legion foot, Highland foot. So some pretty, some pretty decent infantry. I mean, these guys aren't really crappy. But they're exhausted and they're concerned because they've sustained a lot of casualties. They've lost many good friends in this battle. I think they're in range of my rifles. Yep, I'm moving my rifles up, or my Jaegers up so that I can snipe them. He's running up to face them. I follow them back just some. Because they're getting these guys are getting a little too close. Ooh, artillery getting really close to getting a hit there. <clears throat> now we're just laying into them. See, look how quickly they break. Like my artillery is hitting them. See, they 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 already broke. We have my dragoons over here. These guys were like evaporated. I almost feel bad for them. My artillery is ripping them apart. What a nasty kill zone. Like when you hate to be one of these British soldiers, another unit is breaking right there. There we go, getting more volleys. So the, both those units are breaking. The only unit is left is... Uh, is these rifles. So we have a battle of the skirmishers going on right here. There's Here's the officer right here. My artillery is shelling them as they run off the battlefield. Get out of here. So now my skirmishers are... Ooh, artillery almost hitting my own men there. So this is the last unit. I have my Jaegers cleaning them up. And then we'll take a look at the kills and then run the video. I hope you guys enjoy these epic battles. Like, let me know which ones you like best. Like, do you guys like the Third Age Total War, which is like Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit battles? Do you like Medieval 2 Total War, which is like uh, actual historical medieval battles? Oh, the general fired his pistol right there. That was cool. Or do you like uh, Napoleon Total War, which is guns blazing? Bayonet charges. Oh, they, they took them out. But, so tell me which one you guys like best. Napoleon Total War, Third Age Total War. Or, yeah, take them out with your pistol.
Ooh, the officer getting a kill there. Yep, he's dead. So let me know which one you like the best. So now I'm charging in my Dragoons. One last charge. They're trampling all these dead Brits. All the dead British soldiers. Yep, cleaning them up. There they go. Yep, there they go. They're only down to like 10 dudes. So our line held fast. Don't mess with Prussia. Because, I mean, Great Britain was a superpower at this time. So now I'm charging all my cab down over those grenadiers that held for so long. Oh, looks like it froze. But, yeah, don't mess with Prussia. Because, I mean, Great Britain was a superpower at this time. That's hinting to a video that will be coming soon. But, and my, Prussia was able to defeat them, which was pretty awesome. I think Great Britain and the United Netherlands, so here's the Great Britain's general. I think their biggest mistake was, uh, was clumping up all of their men in, this, in, this, in these trees over here. Because then my artillery just laid into them. Shelled them to death. Wow. What a spot to freeze at. So here we go. We're just cleaning up their general. Yeah, they're pretty much all cleaned up. And then was there something over here? There's some fencibles over here, but I think... Yeah, they broke. Yeah, so this is all, all that's left is the British general. Yep, there they go, they broke. All the British have broke, and they're running for their lives. There goes their general, British general has been killed. And victory for Prussia. Alright, so let's look at these kills. You may not be able to see it very well. So, me, I was Prussia. Um, I got 1,053 kills. My ally got 748 kills. Uh, Great Britain getting 636 kills, United Netherlands getting 512, so good kills all around, I got a lot. So let's sort by kill, so the most kills going to the Grenadiers, 256 kills from those Grenadiers. So Dragoons getting a lot of kills, my Skirmishers getting quite a bit of kills, but, but yeah, so, but the Grenadiers lost the most too. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode and the lesson of today's episode. Don't mess with the Prussian Grenadiers. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Make sure to like, subscribe for more videos, more epic battles. Um, I'll have a lot more videos coming soon now that I've kind of got things sorted out. And I've got some ideas for some pretty awesome things. So make sure to subscribe and like and comment and suggest things that you like and don't like so I can switch things up. But... Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later.